Hello, my name is James Short. I'm a Virginia criminal defense lawyer. Today I'd like to discuss with you the four frequently asked questions concerning domestic assault. A domestic assault is an assault against a family or household member. That could include a spouse, an ex-spouse, a roommate, uh, or a co-parent. The first question that I'm frequently asked is, do I need an attorney? And the answer to that question is yes. A domestic assault is a misdemeanor. That means that if you're convicted, it carries the possibility of 12 months in jail. Also, there are more serious assaults that are felonies, such as malicious wounding or strangulation. If you're convicted of a felony, that carries the possibility of a penitentiary sentence. If you are convicted of domestic assault, there are possible negative consequences. It could affect um, your job. If you're up for a promotion, it could adversely affect that promotion. If you have a security clearance, it could cause you to lose your security clearance. It could also have an adverse effect on your custody and visitation rights. If you hire an attorney, that attorney will be able to, to discuss the case with you and go over your testimony and go over the strong points of your case and go over the weak as aspects of your case. The attorney will also be able to file discovery with the Commonwealth and the Commonwealth will provide certain information concerning your case. Um, that could be uh, any statements that you made to the police uh, as well as your criminal record. And if the police had a uh, body cam, uh, in most cases you would get a copy or your attorney would get a copy of that body, body cam. Also, if it's appropriate, your attorney will be able to negotiate a possible plea with the Commonwealth's attorney. The second question that I'm asked is, will I go to jail? If the injuries in the case, or if there are injuries, if the injuries are not significant, in most cases you will not uh, receive a jail sentence. You would receive a suspended jail sentence. Uh, if this is your own, if this is your first offense, then you may be eligible for first offender. If you receive first offender, the court will take your case under advisement, continue it for a period of time, and put you on certain terms and conditions of probation. Then you will return to court. If you satisfy those terms and conditions of probation, the judge will then dismiss the charge. So it's beneficial for you to talk with an attorney as soon as possible to discuss your case. You may be eligible for first offender if that's something that you would be interested in. The third question that I'm frequently asked is, when people come to me and say, look, you know, my girlfriend has decided that she wants to drop charges, that shouldn't be a problem, should it? Well, the first thing that I do is I'll look at the warrant to see who actually took out the warrant. In most cases, it was the police officer who responded to the scene that actually secured the warrant. And in that case, your girlfriend would not be able to drop charges because she wasn't the person who brought the charge. However, even if your girlfriend did bring the charge, many judges are reluctant to allow a party to just drop the charge. Again, this is something that you would definitely want to discuss with your attorney. The next question that I'm asked is, what should I do? What can I do to help my case? Well, hopefully you were observant during the incident, meaning that you paid attention to everything that happened, everything that was said. Um, when someone comes in to see me, the first thing I want to see is a copy of the charge. I then um, would want uh, the names and addresses of any witnesses, anyone who saw anything that might be beneficial to our case. Also, if there are injuries, if my client suffered injuries, then I want um, pictures of those injuries. The sooner you take those pictures, the better, uh, because we may introduce deuce those pictures into evidence. Uh, also on occasion, I've um, had situations where my client was assaulted. So then I may encourage my client 
to go to the magistrate and take out a warrant against the um, other party. So it is important that you contact an attorney as soon as possible. If you are charged with domestic assault, please call me. I offer a free consultation and I would be more than willing to discuss your case in its entirety. So please give me a call if you have been charged uh, with a domestic assault. I hope that you found this uh, video to be beneficial.